Welcome to creating extensions with custom objects in Oracle Cloud application, leveraging Oracle Visual Builder Studio. My name is Shai Schmelzer. In this demonstration, we're going to show you how you can use custom business object that you define using the Oracle application composer in Oracle SAS, and how you can access Visual Builder directly from Oracle Cloud Apps to create a new app UI the App UI application is going to leverage data from both the custom object and from Oracle SaaS data. And then how you can develop and test the new user interface with new pages for your application built with Oracle Visual Builder. I'm starting inside Oracle Cloud application, and we're going to go to the main menu. Under configuration, we can find our sandboxes. Let's click on that to go and see the sandboxes that we have defined so far. We're going to pick one of those sandboxes and go into that sandbox. Once we're inside the sandbox, in the tools menu, we'll have the tools of the sandbox. For example, we have here the app composer and the application composer allows us among other things to create new declarative custom objects. We can click on the custom objects to get a list of them. You can see the plus sign to create new ones. We already created one. It's called Party Gifts. So let's look this up. And here's our custom object. Now we're going to copy the describe resource for this business object. And then from the same menu, we're going to go to the configuration and this time invoke Visual Builder. In Visual Builder, we're going to select the project that we're part of. This project is connected to our Oracle Cloud application environment. This is appearing over here under the development name. And we're going to create a new workspace. This workspace is going to be of type application extension. We're going to give it a name and we're going to build a nice new user interface on top of this custom object that we defined in Oracle SAS. So we're going to create a new application and you can see that we're using the same sandbox that we are already in from Oracle Cloud application. This means that we have access to the same objects that were defined in the sandbox. Let's go over to the services and we're going to create a new service connection. We're going to use the defined by specification to define the connection to the gifts business object. We are going to use the ADF describe, which is the URL that we copied to the describe endpoint of this custom object that we created. In terms of authentication, we're going to use the Oracle Cloud account to propagate our identity to this business object. Clicking next would allow us to select the specific endpoints that we want to use. We can select all of them or select just the top five in our case. And we'll create this connection to this custom object. In addition, in our application, we also want to get some information from an existing set of data in our Oracle Cloud Apps. Specifically, we're going to use the Select From Catalog, go to the HCM set of objects, and look up the objects called Employee. The AMPS object has information about the employees in our company, and we're going to use that to decide who we are going to give the gift to. Now that we have both our business objects, we can go over and create a new app UI. We'll give it a name, and we'll be taken into the specific page editor to visually edit our application. We're going to use some of the components from the left side to position them on the page. We're going to change the title for our page to be Party Gifts. Then we're going to pick up two panels and organize them on the page to have two areas on this page. We can resize object. And now that we have the overall layout, we can switch over to look at our data palette and here we have our gifts custom object. We're going to pick up this custom object, drag and drop it into the page. And one of the options here is to create a create form. The create form would allow us to insert information about new gifts. 
So let's pick up the fields that we want to populate. We'll pick the gift, the price, the account, as well as the record name. We want to have the option to select who we're giving the gift to. So we're going to use another UI component called the select single and drop it into the form. We'll bind the select single to options coming from our employee list. Next, we're going to pick up the specific field that we want to show in the list. We're going to show the display name, both as the label and as the returned value from this list. Now we can change the label of the field. This is going to be the employee name. And we are going to hook the data, the end value, to the account object or account field in the gifts object. Next, we are going to use the same gift object and drag and drop it to the right side to create a table that lists all the gift that we have allocated so far. Again, we can choose which fields to show. We'll choose the account, the gift, and the price, and click Next and Finish to create the table. So far, we didn't create any gift, so we don't have any records in the table. One more thing that we want to do is modify a little bit the save button. The save button has an action chain associated with it. This is what it does. It saves the data. What we want to do is before we save the data, we want to also assign a value to the record name. And we're going to assign the same value that we have in the account field. So into the record name, we're going to assign the account field just by dragging and dropping. Also, after we insert the record, we want to refresh the table to show us the new records that were created. So we're going to pick up a fire data provider event, hook it up to the source of data for our party gifts table in the user interface and do a refresh operation. And that's our application ready to run. Let's click the preview button to see how the application looks and behaves. The application opens up. We can choose an employee to whom we're going to give a gift. We can also do a search here. So for example, let's choose Mandy. We'll give her a t-shirt. We can indicate the price of the t-shirt and then we can click save. This will also populate the party gift name and will show the information in the table on the right side. Now we can pick up a different employee and insert similar information about the gift that he received, the price, and save the information again to get the table to update and show us the additional data. And that's how easy it is to create new custom user interfaces on top of custom objects.